Holy shit. This is the biggest update in CSGO history. Like, fuck what anybody says. This is the biggest update in CSGO history. This is going to have so many ramifications, good and bad. For starters, CSGO is now free to play. Fuck off, Valve. This is the dumbest thing you could have done. Like, st like I'm going to get like a minute of bitching out of the way because everything else is going to be sucking Gaben's dick probably. Because I've, I've read about... Two seconds. I skimmed this, stopped it, thought, no, I gotta record this. I got to, like, get my genuine initial reaction. Fuck you guys for making this. There's so many fucking hackers now. There's gonna be so many hackers in the game. Prime matchmaking's a fucking joke. So, they better have... They better have something other than VAC now. Like, VAC is a joke. Prime matchmaking is a joke. Fucking free to play? There's gonna be so many fucking hackers on matchmaking now. The only thing that might help is the battle royale is gonna get more of the hackers than competitive matchmaking. Okay, so all the bitching out of the way. Let's get to this. The Danger Zone. Introducing Danger Zone, a fast-paced battle royale game mode built on CSGO's tactical gameplay where players use their wit, skill, and resources to fight to the finish. We knew this was coming. It was leaked that a BR map was made. I think it's DE Survival, I think was the map name. Whew! Man, like, this is, like, I, I kind of, like, am kind of, like, hit or miss on BRs lately. Like, I fucking loved H1Z1, played it for a long time, grinded it, played with pro players, played with, like, scrubs, like, you name it, the, the, like, the worst players you've ever run into, and the best player I've played with, and loved playing with both of them, like, H1 has a fucking soft spot in my heart, always will, to the day I die, I will always remember that game with fondness. Then you got games like Fortnite that I really liked it, and now I fucking despise that game because it's a joke of what it used to be. Like, it, like, I, I just, enough of that. So, like, I'm kind of excited about this, but at the same time, like, you know, I, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna think it's gonna be good, but at the same time, I don't know. I, like, I just wanna, like, Everything that people bitch about in BRs, like, there's no skill gap, there's... CSGO for a BR has an already ingenious built-in skill gap. Like, any... Like, the, think of Summit 1G. All the people who talk shit to him in his chat, and he's like, alright, prove it, and he 1v1s them every time. If they're not hacking, he shits on them. Because there's a skill gap in CSGO that an... A global elite, a true global elite, is going to shit on any silver just with raw aim. So that is such a huge, like, stepping stone already for skill gap for a BR they already have. So, super fucking excited. Uh, eight, a match with up to 18 players. That's really small. I kind of like that, though. Check your tablet for intel. Choose to engage or live to fight another day. Fight or flight. What the fuck? I don't know what that means, but all right. No time to waste. Test your skills. Make the most of your equipment. Make every moment count. Drop into the black site. Choose your entry point. Explore black site in a code. This feels like a BR that, like... I'm getting a Rainbow Six vibe, but they're calling it a BR. Hmm. Find equipment money and watch the skies for special deliveries. Explore your environment. Special missions to find your... So this is an operation. Is this an operation? I didn't think it was an oper- I think this might be an operation. Saves contains uh, cash. You don't have to accommodation, but you might get carry a hostage rescue under and some bonus cash. Contracts give you extra cash for limited high value targets. Hmm. Track uh, your personal tablet is the key to success. Track opponent's positions. Track your deliveries. Try to path to avoid the danger. This has like a feel of so many different games. It's like a Rainbow Six, it has, a, like, obviously a CSGO, like, but it has, like, a Ring of Elysium to it, like, it just, mm. Delivery drones sometimes have mind of their own, but always manage to find you outside when you need them the most, alright? Old favorites, new toys. There's a fucking axe and a hammer. Alright. 
Every match features this, uh, pistols, rifle, SMG, heavy weapons, and CSGO class. And blah, blah, blah. Resources are scarce. Commit to your first weapon or plan ahead for something with more firepower or bullet counts. Get creative with breach charges. Plant anywhere, C4, throwable melee weapons, and more. A boost for your many shot helps. All right. Solo dudes and trios play danger zone solos. Or grab a friend or two, then hunt or be hunted as a team. That's awesome because I play with two other dudes most of the time. We're just getting started and we'll continue to update Danger Zone community feedback. That's awesome. This is the thing that I, this is the, like where I stopped after just like skimming. I didn't read anything above that, but I've read this. Pick up a souvenir from the Danger Zone. For a limited time, play Danger Zone with Prime status and get a souvenir MP5 SD Lab Rats. That's fucking dope. Like, finally, a skin that looks cool and they just give it to you. You don't have to open up no bullshit cases. Like, this is what CSGO's needed. Like, if they just got rid of the fucking stupid weekly drop where you get a three cent graffiti no one fucking likes anyway, the only reason I don't mind it is because I'm so ingrained in using uh, graffiti at the end of rounds just as a force of habit to keep, like, my movement going and everything. Like, this is what a weekly goal needs to be, is, like, a skin like this. So, I'm fucking stoked about it. Introducing the Danger Zone case, featuring 17 community-designed uh, weapons, as always. The Neo-Noir Op! Oh, my God. Let's look at this. Oh, fuck, dude. We're going the wrong way. Going the wrong way for this. All right, let's go. We're going to go FUBAR. That's a fucking sick tech night. Like, that's almost... I don't know, I like that. Danger Close, SG skin. Needing more of those because everybody and their fucking dog uses COD guns now, but, you know, at least it looks cool. The Black Sand, that actually looks better than the other Black Sands. Ooh, Magnesium M4 for a blue. Thank God, a blue that's fucking good looking. That's awesome. A Wood Fired, that's pretty dope too. Oxide Blaze, let's go, dude. The fucking Glock. And then a modest threat. Dude, the blues. I gotta say, knocking it out of the park on the blues on this one. This is the worst one out of all of them, and it's not bad. Neo Noir and AK 47 Asma. Finally, they add this, dude. Uh, Phosphor. That's sick. That is sick. Mecha Industries Deagle. That's dope. Momentum. That's. Oh, the flashback. Now, fun fact I actually have a video on this. Uh, it's my highest viewed video. I like little peek behind the curtain on my channel. I fucking hate that video. That was on not because of it, it was just like I made a video for the sake of making a video, and then kind of got off the rails on like my own thinking, and just the reason the real reason I hate that video is because it one I messed up the view model just so I could get a better view at it. And it just looks disgusting. Not to mention, my FPS on that was 12. Recording that video, I had 12 FPS because I was on my old potato PC that I barely ever made a video for other than opening cases. I fucking hate that video just because it was on such a disgusting PC that if I re-recorded it now, I would have no issue with it. But the fact that I recorded on that potato... But the reason I brought this up is I actually have a, I had a mini conversation with the dude who created the skin for the M4, and like there was a happy coincidence in the Easter egg. I thought he had no idea about it, and I th I really thought that was kind of cool. Uh, but the Nevermore, that's really sick P250 skin. Pipe down, that's that actually is really cool. The 3D texture on that's really cool for Mac 10. Signal, that's dope as fuck. Scavenger, I wish that wasn't an auto. Like, that's really cool. Damn, dude, all of those. All right, frequently asked question. How many players in the match? If you're so cute with 16, if you're cute as a 2 or 3, you'll be 18. How do I play a squad? You can play with friends by joining their lobby in the main menu. Play Danger Zone as a 2 or 3. You'll be matched against squad. A 10-minute matches? That's perfect length for a BR, in my opinion. Do weapons behave the same as they do in CSGO game modes? Yes. All right. En enough. I don't need to read any more of that. That's all I give a shit about. How is XP earned? You can earn XP in Danger Zone by looting your environment, killing enemies, and trying to best survive. How do I get the souvenir MP5 Labyrinth? To earn a souvenir, uh, you 
prime status and earn 250 XP in danger zone. So you have until January 1st, or sorry, January 9th to get that. All right, so this is the first look in game. Um, it says I got a new item. I'm thinking this is a loyalty badge. Yep, loyalty badge. So if you've bought, if you played any time in the last five years before today, you get this badge. The other thing I just read, every account that wasn't made, so if you bought the game before today, which is now free to play, so you now buy it, you are now automatically a Prime member. So again, Prime means a fucking nothing. Every hacker, like, Prime enabled, okay. You have been upgraded to Prime status. No, like... So this is the danger zone. So there's no ticker down here anymore. That automatically, yeah. So you're either prime or you're not, and it doesn't. That's kind of cool, but like, uh, that's just gonna fucking ruin the game for a while. So let's wonder. So that all shows. So you can't watch those yet. All right. So let's go back to the home. This is just the danger zone shit again. Keys. So the danger zone keys are 250. I saw them on the market and they're selling them for 80 bucks. Like if if you're new to CS:GO, do not buy your keys off the Steam market. Buy them in game. That was the number one mistake I made. I bought them and granted I only bought them for like 60 cents a extra or, or like 260. So I like spent 10 15 cents extra a key. A key. Buy all your keys in this in game market, like in the keys right there. Cases, I would just wait for a drop. Um, yeah, these I'm I think they're still 30 bucks. Holy shit, okay. Huh, all right. Shall we uh, take a look and see what it's like? I guess let's do it up. Let's figure out what the fuck all of this is about. Oh, God. I'm actually really excited for this. Way too much, so. <sighs> Searching for players and servers. All right, so. If this is the map right there, that actually looks really cool. 16 players, and you have to wait till everybody raised up. Again, if you're new to Counter-Strike, this is going to happen a lot where you see 15 out of 16, or in the old days, 9 out of 10, and you're like, why isn't that one person hitting upset? And then you don't get a match, and then you have to search again. Welcome to Counter-Strike, baby. That's going to happen every fucking time. Of course, the first time I search, it happens so I can at least point that out. So, welcome to Counter-Strike. This is your life now. Waiting for that one dick bag to hit accept that he's not going to. He's not going to. So, you just might as well chalk this up because you're on to the next game searching. Uh, oh, and this bug's back. Sweet. So, this doesn't disappear. This is also now your life staring at this. This was fixed and apparently now it's broken again. Cool. All right. So are the esports ready memes going to carry over this when this game has been an esport for like fucking five years now? Not just an esport, like one of the biggest, like non. Like. I don't know. Like, MMO top-down bullshit League of Legends types like this is I would say this is the biggest shooter uh, esports there is hands down as far as like majors the majors get a million views like every single major gets a million concurrent views watching maybe I don't know I'm just vamping I'm just vamping right now I'm fucking excited this map is looks really fucking big 
I don't. Um, hmm. I don't. I have zero expectations on what this should be. I'm like, I actually have, like, that like gut feeling, you know, like we're just so excited. You feel that like knot in your gut. You're just like, oh, I'm ready for this. Like, I'm genuinely, like, this came out of nowhere. I was expecting an operation with this being, like, a side note not note to it. Not just, like, this is what we're dropping today. This is... This might be better than an operation. Mm, I don't know. Fuck yes, dude. Can I change? Okay, we're waiting on one person to pick their spot. You get to see where everybody's going? That's kind of cool. Well, am I controlling this? What is going on? That actually looks cool. So So fucking ready. Let's go. First wave of missiles about to be fired. Oh, there's a drone. <laughs> I heard you, you fuck. What just happened? Really? First game. First game. I've never had Counter-Strike just crash. First game, it just crashes on me. Oh. Well, Counter-Strike, congratulations. You're officially a Battle Royale. That's the end of this review, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. There you go. Counter-Strike. Triple-A title. First BR match. Crashes with two guys in hand of me. No guns on them. Let's go. Wow! Alright. So. <laughs> oh... That's the end of this video. There's nothing else to say or do. That's the first impressions. First impressions, it's super fucking laggy. Really laggy. Just like horrifically laggy. And then it crashes. So, I don't know. First impression out of actually playing the game, not great. Not great.
Uh, but it also, I, to be fair, there's so many fucking people online on Counter Strike right now. I would not be surprised if you have more people currently in Counter Strike than any other of the next two top games. There's probably eight million people un in the game right now, and you might think that's a joke of a number. There's around 14 million last month unique players. I would say right now with unique players and new players hearing Counter Strike's free, you probably have that many people online right now. So, are they all in Danger Zone servers? Probably not, but like a lot of them, I would say I, you have at least two million people in those servers right now. I would guess. So, I'm not gonna get too pissy with crashing on the first game I play. It's gonna probably happen, but it, it is a factor of that's kind of a damper on my excitement. It's a little stifled, which needed to happen. I was a little bit too excited, so oh well. But that's the end of the video for sure. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, you guys are awesome and amazing. I will see you in game, so take care and peace out.